What's your approach when you're having to play a really fast tempo? How do you break down what your motion is that you did in the faster examples? Well, with the real fast tempo, I'm using a technique that Jeff Hamilton showed me. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the idea is to hold the brush, you know, all the way to the back of the brush. And are you holding it between the forefinger and the thumb? Yeah, the, the middle finger, finger, middle finger. Okay. and the thumb. And I got the middle finger right up against that little bump at the end of the brush. Right. And then I'm really just using the, this idea of dropping it and then picking it up, letting it bounce. And it's bouncing off of this part so, of the brush. So right where the uh, fan meets the shaft. There. Right. So. And I'm just trying to stay out of the way of that rebound. Right. One, two, one, two, three. Depending on what kind of sound, where you play it on the drum also de determines the tone. Mm -hmm. Closer into the middle, we're going to get the deepest sound. And the left hand, it's just making a small circle. Well, yeah, it needs to be small because there's not much space. I don't have time to right. <laughs> make a big so. Right. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Mm, mm, mm. four. And there's some motion. It's not just exactly straight up and down. You can also have a little side to side motion with mm -hmm. it. And a little sort of back and forth motion as well. Now this, and then you can get up on the brush a little bit. Or. Steve, can you slow that down for us?
The fingers are, are responding to the rebound. Okay. So you're Where it's releasing it. it and picking it up. So you're letting it. I'm letting it bounce, but I'm also responding with the fingers as so well. So the fingers are following along with the natural motion of right. what the brush wants to do. Dropping it, picking it up. Right, okay. If you broke it down to just two motions, something uh -huh. like that. Okay.